Hello everyone, Abed's brother here, and today is a very special day. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a quick look at Kingdoms of Amalur, the Re-Reckoning. This is the remastered, patched, and bug-fixed version that released today. This is a uh, day one video. Don't do many of these. Um, very excited for this one. I have literally just finished downloading the game. Uh, you can see it's about 3 o'clock right now. The game launched on Steam at about 10 a.m. this morning, and I purchased it about 10.30. And it's taken me this long to download it. The download is about 40 gigs, I think. Yeah. Say about 40 gigabytes, so it's a lot bigger than the old one. This is the first time I have booted it up, literally. Let's hope it, uh, oh, it didn't. It launched windowed. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Oh, no, there it goes. Cool. Okay, so it's probably a 1080p. I'm going to scale it up. We're going to go 4K, and we're going to crank all the settings, and we're going to see what it does. Yeah, Kaiko has done some good, uh, some good work to now. And I don't see EA's label on this. This was something I was uh, discussing with a couple of people on the Amalur forums is how much EA is involved in this. As it turns out, I don't believe they're involved at all. Okay, so first let's find... Can we use arrows? No, that just handles that. Ah, the good old theme. In trouble because of my overlay here. I, oh, here we go, resolution. Where do I set my actual resolution? Vertical sync is enabled. Borderless window. I don't want borderless window. Oh, there we go. They want 1440p. I want 4K. Okay, so it needs to be exclusive full screen in order to be able to change the resolution. There we go. I knew once I got to 4K, my uh, overlay would be would be in the correct spot. The only thing it's going to cover up here should be the save icon, so we should be good. All right, so options, main menu. This is back where we were, but now we, this isn't covering everything. And I just turned VSync off, so we're about 400 FPS in the menus here. So yeah, if you're having trouble with your resolution, you need to set this to uh, exclusive full screen to be able to change the resolution. Not unusual, I've seen that before. Um, I did see on the forums this does have 21 to 9 support, so that's good. And here we are in the graphics menu. Oh, there we go. So, super sampling. Oh, I wanted to go max settings, but super sampling is pointless at 4K, so I'm going to leave that off. But max anisotropy. Highest. Yeah, let's go highest. I think that's going to gonna kill frame rate, though. Texture quality. Low, medium, and high, so that's it. Post-processing is enabled. Post-processing, it looks like they didn't separate out motion blur as a separate setting, which is disappointing to me, but because this is the way it was in the original game as well. You just had post-processing on or off, and motion blur is just tied into that. There might be a way you can mod it or something, but uh, THQ, if you're, or Kaiko, if you're watching this, I would really appreciate a separate toggle for motion blur, because I really don't like that. You can keep in uh, depth of field, you know, I understand that's necessary for making certain things work and backgrounds blend and such, but motion blur, I really don't like that. And they added a lot with the camera here, and this was at, uh, this was at community request. They got camera smoothing, enemy focus, camera height, camera distance, and field of view. These were all requested features. These are all new. And gameplay, I'm auto save on, Halid helmet off, tutorials on, lock mini map. HUD scaling mode default. Okay, I saw somebody posting about this. Does the HUD scale? I don't know what those options do, but I'm sure we'll find out. The music. Uh, might be very loud, but I'm actually... That's it. That's uh, I'm recording this with a separate mic track, so I'm just going to balance it in uh, editing. But let's go new game. I'm not sure how much of this... Ah, the new difficulty. I'm just going to go normal here for now. I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually going to show. 
because I would like to get to Gorhart. From the beginning, we were wrong. Now, the opening cutscenes were not retouched or remastered at all, as I understand. Uh, I believe they they did not upscale or re-render them or anything like that. I could be wrong about that, but what I've heard is that these are exactly the same. So if you get somebody online saying, hey, they didn't change anything from the old game to the new game, and they show you these cutscenes, that's because they didn't retouch the cutscenes. I've already seen two or three videos on YouTube that claim there were no changes between the original and the remastered version. And they were trying to use pre-rendered cutscene as proof, and that's just ridiculous. As you can see, my FPS is still up around over 400, so this is clearly not a, uh, a rendered scene. This is pre-rendered. He had power like none we had ever seen. I'm currently in the middle of playing through Mass Effect 2, so I'm not intending to do a full playthrough here, but I have seen people complaining about FPS drop when they get to Gorhart. So we're going to play through Death the beginning part. Probably without... Uh, probably... I'm not sure if I'm going to edit it or not. That's my problem, is because I'm bandwidth limited. So if I make an hour-long video and I upload it in 1440p, that'll take me three days to upload. No and I would like to get it out a little bit faster. But we'll see. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Uh, this is still one of my favorite on games. I don't know, this almost looks like it was a little bit uh, retouched. Because this is at 4K. I believe the original rendered videos, uh, the original rendered cinematics were, uh, I want to say 1080p in the original game. Could have been 720, but I think they were 1080. And this looks very sharp for being at 4K. And Abby Craden, of course, doing a fantastic job as uh, Aylan Shear, the voice actress. She actually had a big role in Doom 2016, so if she sounds familiar, that's probably why. She voiced the, uh, I forget the name of the scientist, the one who basically made the deal with, the, with, the, with demons and opened the portal to hell, but uh, she voiced her. Okay, I see. It still looks a little low res there, yeah. In the shadows. It does look a bit sharpened, though, so I think they did do some retouching on the cinematics, but it was very minor. Now, this is rendered. This is not pre-rendered. And 4K... 4K max with no super sampling. Looks like we're at 60 FPS here. Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Grand? Eyes on the job, boy. And this is DX11 now, not DirectX 9, so there should be some improvements in the way the shadows and lighting are rendered. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. All right, we're just gonna go pretty. Uh, you know, considering I might pick this up later, we'll go with a Dockofar. Um. My favorite build in Amalur, and I played through Kingdoms of Amalur from beginning to end uh, three times, plus a YouTube playthrough. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed this game. Um, my favorite build is an archery build, uh, a thief build with some magic. Poison, mana regen, critical hit, chance critical hit. I'm going to go Mischief. And we'll go preset one. Uh, we'll just go with this for now. He's a docklefar. No surprise there. You've seen a lot of them, though not usually in this good a shape. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. Basically, Kingdoms of Amalur was doing uh, Fortnite-style graphics before Fortnite. I know it's not exactly the same as Fortnite, but it's similar. Okay, not fully utilizing my GPU, but we're staying above 80%. So, you know, there are some optimization tweaks that could be made, clearly. But it's not in a hopeless state at all, like some people have been claiming on the forums. Carowind's fine. Or some people claiming, I have a GTX 950 and I should get 
90 FPS, because, you know, I got 250 FPS in the original game. Yeah, sure you did. With a GTX 950, sure you got 250 FPS in the original. Okay, did it lock? No, there it goes. Okay, there was a load screen there before, so that's new. A lot more detail on the bodies. I can seeing it right now. They said they're going to try to make this easier for people to mod as well. That's a great thing. If they can manage to open up enough of the code to make it easier to alter some things. And uh, maybe people aren't happy with the graphical retouchings. Maybe they want to do fan mods to make it even more uh, visually pleasing. That'd be great. Hopefully the engine has the capacity for additional graphical enhancements, but maybe some are too tricky or troublesome to implement. I believe THQ and Kaiko were working on this for a year and a half, two years. All right, here we are, 4K on an RX 5700 XT. Seeing a few things there. There will be an optimization patch. They said they as good as said so on the uh, forums this morning. So super sampling is disabled. I'm assuming FXAA. No, FXAA is it. That's the only anti-aliasing. So super sampling is disabled, but otherwise we are at 4K Ultra here. GPU usage is hanging around 85. That's why my temperatures aren't going up. Hang around 80-ish. So there's definitely some optimization that could happen there. But it's not nearly as bad as something like um, Assassin's Creed Origins, for instance. Oh, is it E? No, it's F. Okay. My overlay is laying over the top of it. Now, the HUD looks a little large. Can I change that? There's a HUD scale. Oh, there it is. Default. Small. Do I have to apply, or do I, does it just happen? Okay, yeah, it just happened. Fantastic. That's better. I don't... At 4K, I don't want the HUD to be that large. Well, it's just the opening cave, but this is exactly what I wanted from a remaster. It looks a little bit sharp. Now, if I wanted to make it sharper, I'd probably use Radeon Image Sharpening to crank that up a bit. Frame rate. Take. And let's see, primary. Thank you. Yes, I can definitely see the textures have been up -resed, that's for sure. They're all over. Run. Right now, f the camera feels a little jumpy. That could just be cam be uh, mouse speed. Enemy focus is on. Camera controls. Camera sensitivity. Let's turn that down a bit. Try that. Children of dust. Yeah, that was definitely it. Still a little too sensitive. This is just me. This is not the game per se. I did the same thing when I was uh, working on my playthrough. Yeah. What? Oh, not going back that way. Yeah, now it feels much smoother. The famous foot shot. Yeah, the feet do look a little off, but we're going to be... We're going to be... Now, somebody commented about there being a frame skip or frame delay when you destroy boxes. I am seeing a little visual stutter, even though it's not being picked up. Oh, come on. I am seeing a little bit of visual stutter, even though it's not being picked up on my overlay. So that's probably something with the upscaling that I'm doing. Because I am playing this on a 1080p monitor, but I'm using... a. Uh, Virtual super resolution to play a 4K. Somebody said something about there being like a frame skip when you destroy boxes. I find that a little weird. I 
I did post a full playthrough of this game on my YouTube channel, so if you're interested in... But that was the old version of the game. If you're interested in seeing more what the game looks like without me talking even over cutscenes... I'm on it, dude. Dodge. Yup. I'm not seeing the, the frame skip when you destroy boxes. There's a guy on the forums who complained about it. No, I'm not seeing that at all. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I've seen you before. Oh, I love this line. On the slab, you you were dead. Yep. It worked. By the tome it worked. Sorry, Ensa, we You're need to keep alive. this moving. Wait, I'm not dead? No, no, clearly not. Not anymore, but you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. All right. Uh, okay, Professor looks like Barbara I just want to turbo through this. The Duwatha are coming in from the lower level. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going. Let me get this going. Oh, I got healing potions now. Let's equip our armor. Uh, there we go. And map to radial. There we go. How do I call the radial though? Is it Q? Right this way. It is. You no, know, it's tab. No, oh, he's going that way. I'm destroying more boxes here. I want to see if this is true. It does seem like. The game, the game doesn't stutter. I'm not seeing that in my overlay at all. Now, this could be the difference between Radeon and NVIDIA. I generally don't know. Sometimes games have been known to perform differently on the different graphics cards. And, like I said in the beginning, oh, boots. This is an RX 5700 XT. Armor. I thought there were, like, arm bracers or something I was going to get. I think they've improved the lighting a bit, for sure. It's not a whole new lighting engine. They probably just enhanced it a bit. But yeah, I would probably... The first thing I would do after... Uh, if I were going to play this through all the way, I would probably turn up... Radeon image sharpening. I would probably take that to, I want to say, 40%. That make things look a little bit more crisp. I think it's because of loading in in the background. I'm still seeing what it feels like micro stutter just occasionally, and I'd swear that's the load in. Because it's not consistent, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen moving forward. And it's not really showing up on the f on the overlay there. This is installed to a solid state drive, for the record. See if you can find anything useful. Well, we're gonna get a shield, that's for sure. I'm a big fan of uh, double blade daggers here. Dual wield daggers. There we go, torn gloves. Uh, there we go. Come on. Thank you. The bow and dual daggers. Fey blades. I've never really found fey blades that worked. It, wait, what? Oh, it's it's shift. That's right. Never really found fey blades that worked for me. Wait. Wait, what? Why did I lose my upper armor? I must have clicked it by accident. There we go. Basically, this is a fable style. It's like a looter shooter. There's a ton of loot in this game. But imagine if fable were like a straight up looter shooter. Except it's not a shooter. Okay, 
and they're gonna blow their way in. Well, I wanted to use the shield to block. Now, somebody said there was a glitch here, and that the bow... Somebody had said this glitched, and the bow was not present or lootable. Let's see. Uh, weapon secondary. No, it's here. So is Q switch to switch weapons? It is. It is Q. I knew Q was involved somewhere. Did they detect me already? What? They did. You assholes. Come on. Let's shoot them before they see us. And you can use a charge shot. Like I said, I'm I'm it's I'm feeling the micro stutter. I'm not seeing it. It's more of a feel, and it's not. I saw a pause there, but that was on purpose. There's camera slowdown when you destroy a lot of stuff or you hit a lot of targets that way. That was on purpose. That was not a mistake. Come on, if I do it here, it's going to hit the rocks. Thank y'all. I never really found any value to tattered documents. I know when you get to... Gosh, what's the area? The southern sandy desert area. Is that Detir? I know when you get down there, you can find some stuff from the Modus Mining Corporation that are going to be worth something that'll hold uh, information. Usually documents don't have much much in them. See, that was the micro stutter. I just saw it. That I saw. Rusty gauntlets. I don't remember this much gear laying laying around here. Oh, but Let's change our primary to crude iron daggers. There we go. Nope, right there. I just saw it. Felt like the game was visually low. I'm still seeing it. Let's see, it's C, isn't it? Or is it X? I'm hitting C and X. I'm not entering stealth mode. Okay, I have to check the controls here. Uh, controls. Stealth toggle. It is C. Oh. I just needed to walk forward one more step. Yeah, there does need to be some optimization here. I can definitely see that. GPU utilization is not what it should be, but it's it's not bad. You know, I've seen way worse from Assassin's Creed games. And I am running... Oh, that's loot. I am running uh, Radeon driver 20.8.2. So not the latest beta driver, but a fairly recent one. Let's go, this guy. Nice. I'm starting to see there. There is. It's not 100% smooth. But I'm not getting the massive frame drops and stutters that plenty of other people are. 
And they're posting about it in the forums, uh, the Steam forums today. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Okay. Incredible. What are you? So there will be a performance patch, no question. I'll be coming back to this to do a full playthrough. It's just that right now, not on YouTube, but I will be returning to revisit this game. I've actually wanted to for a while, but I knew the uh, the remastered version was coming out. So I actually put it off. Do I think the remastered version is worth it, having owned and played the heck out of the original? Yeah, I think it's worth it. Uh, basically... Are we going to fight spiders here? Yes. Basically, Amalur was always a beautiful game to me. Oh, shit. Okay, that's right. I forgot about that. Amalur was always a beautiful game to me, and anything that helps improve or show that off... Is, uh... completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Is Don't worth it to me. Spiders, burn them. Burn them. <laughs> oh yeah, electricity is good on spiders, huh? Been a while since I've done this. Nice. Yes, it's fun being an OP warrior. Loot all the things, and then fill your inventory. They say they fixed inventory in this game, that uh, they made it quite a bit bigger. That is appreciated. Though I never... They gave you a chest in uh, a couple different places. Well, one chest that you could activate from multiple locations. Ah, you got me. Piss off. Mana's low, huh? And I believe that chest had, what was it, 150 item limit? And nothing got stuck in there that I know of. You know, there were issues with quest items getting stuck in your uh, in main inventory in the original game, but that was never an issue with the stash. I guess people never played up to Gorehart. No, not Gorehart. Oh, gosh. Um, down in Canarok. Was it the town of Canarok, or was that just the area? No, I'm not. We can't risk you getting killed. You just keep going past the top of the well. I'll see you on the other side. Well, we won't, because they're all gonna die in here. Ah, late armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy. Simple claw. I'm probably yeah. My inventory is already half full. Let's head up to Hughes, and we can get head out into Gorehart. Now, one of the things I always loved most about Amalur was its atmosphere. I liked its visuals and its atmosphere. If we're playing, you know, if we're playing a fairy tale of, you know, magic and mages and elves and, and gnomes and all this other stuff, I, I thought the visuals always fit that very well. And the music, of course, is fantastic. But very different, you know, a lot of people play played Kingdoms of Amalur, and this goes back years and years and years. A lot of people play Kingdoms of Amalur who have played Skyrim and are expecting Skyrim. You know, there was somebody who came to me and said, who came onto the forums, and I got into a very big argument with one time. He was like, well, Skyrim's better than Amalur because you can jump whenever you want in Skyrim. I'm like, okay, dude, if, if jumping is what you place the highest value on in games, sure. 
Um, yeah, I get. I guess then Skyrim would be unconditionally better. You've made it, and look at you. Yeah. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. Everything Not really. Here is dedicated to one thing. If we only had the time. There's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Wait. Fascinating. It's really astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, uh, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <coughs> Perhaps I should go see... Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawatha have reached the lab! That it drives them out! Oh. Ah. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of War. Find Aga. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Okay, let's go. I wonder if I should switch my weapons again. Let's see. Oh no, it's control. Is it control? Yes, it is. Because we gotta fight a troll up here. I should probably do it before arriving in the new area. No, okay. Some of the same old problems. Nice. Okay, let's switch my inventory here. Uh, seven physical damage, two piercing. Yeah, let's go back to the long sword for now. Now this is nothing like Skyrim. Get moving, you brute! Tear this tower apart. Healing potion. Yep, there we go. Mini boss time. Let's see how reckoning mode works. This is where we get our first shot at it. Hopefully, I don't die here. It has been a while. Okay, it targeted the troll. I wanted to target the guy. Ah, I dodged. Didn't work. Okay. Come on. Charge me. Come on. Gotcha. Nice. This is where you do the big damage after you stagger them. But now they're going to recover and you need to get out of the way. I love it when we get the, the teleport. Then we can actually teleport through a troll dot a troll charge, excuse me. There we go. What's the prompt? Oh shit. It's underneath my, my overlay, it was mouse two. Well that worked. Very impressed so far. When I saw, um, when I read reviews online, they said that uh, there were not very many bugs at all for a game like this. Even for a remaster. And I remember when, uh, I remember when Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered came out, which was also done by the same uh, studio, Kaiko. They, uh, there were a number of performance issues with that. So, if this turns out to be relatively bug-free and is just in need of optimization and whatnot, then 
yeah, they they will have definitely stepped up their game. So now let's see what we've got here. We're out, and we're into the forest. And I got an achievement. And people said performance tanked for them. Well, 4K, 60. It does feel like I'm seeing some micro stutter here and there. It still does feel like that. Hopefully that's, um, if I had to guess, I'd say that's a pr uh, something with loading textures in. That's a texture streaming thing. Okay, so we leveled up. Again, this is just going to be a basic thing. So let's take Detect Hidden. Long sword mastery. How many points did I have? And might. And we'll go shields. The shields can be tricky to get right, but if you do, uh, if you do get them right, then you are uh, then you can really stagger a lot of different enemies, and that can be very handy when when facing some of the. Uh, uh, I want to say the Threshes. If you can block a Thresh, you can stagger them, and then you can just you can just finish them because once staggered, they'll then you can just wail on them infinitely. Spe that's especially handy if you're going to be fighting two or three Threshes at once, which you will later on in the game. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Thomerus Hughes, what a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Hmm. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes. Or in celebration of his success. Wait, did you just give me money? Whichever. You. You're the one. The cards this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Alright. Now we get to try again. Yeah, I'm I am seeing this thing about micro stutter, but to be honest, this was in the original game as well. Oh, I had a juggle. <laughs> Some of this micro stutter. I remember seeing this back in the day. I played this game on an APU. Yes, yes. I played this game on an APU, and I had the same issue. Okay, what is it this time? It's space bar. Nice. And uh Agarth's gonna be stunned. What are you? The threads of fate. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm go I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an actor. You're nervous. I'll be seeing your place in the past. Uh -huh. destiny. Or at least I should be. You're real, right? <laughs> I swear I haven't had that much. I'm real. <laughs> I'm real. You must be drunk. I am. But still. <laughs> never seen someone whose fate was just missing this doesn't make sense all mortal creatures have a place in the pattern if this is true and oh, okay so this is where we choose uh the cards let's go brawler for now i'm not saying i believe it then your path is yours to determine it could mean nothing or it could mean everything I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. I'll meet you at his home to the east. 
I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. What could this all mean? Okay, so as I was saying before, you might notice this when I pan a little bit. It might look like it's stuttering just a little bit as I pan. Again, it's not something that's showing up in the overlay. And the faster I pan, the less obvious it is. So I'm trying to be as smooth as possible here. I don't know, it's something, it's very, very hard to detect, but it's definitely there. But it was, but that sort of micro stutter was there before. That's my point. So I don't know how much time, again, uh, oh, crap. Uh, if THQ Nordic or Kaika reps are watching this at all, I don't know how much time you should spend trying to fix a very minor micro stutter issue that, uh, to be honest, was there before. And... I've been playing Kingdoms of Amalur, you know, since... Uh, I've been playing it since 2014. That was when I first picked it up. And at the time I had an A10 6800K APU. And I experimented with all kinds of different settings because I wanted it to run really nice and smooth. Let me just see, though. I still feel like... Let's get to Gorehart. Okay, I am seeing a frame rate drop here. Now, to be fair, we are getting a lot longer draw distance here. So this is perhaps to be expected. And yes, that will be a mission that we would pick up. So we are getting some very long draw distance here. I wish I could, like, go to the plains of Arathel or something, because then we get very long draw, dis draw distance. Whoa, okay. But they all... The fade in and fade out of the characters really hasn't changed, so they did optimize as much as they could. What I'm going to do... This is something that I did in the old days. I'm going to turn off post-processing. And you can actually do that here now. That fixed it. Mostly. That gave me back. I'm now hitting 60 in the long draw distances. So, um, Need something? yeah, that really helped with the frame rate. And it made it look better, too, because no more motion blur. But we'll probably use some lose some effects or whatever. Still have a little bit of pop in, but no. Post processing the the post processing toggle that's a problem. And that little bit of pause you saw right there after I destroyed the boxes that is normal. That's not the game stuttering. They laugh at your ignorance. Do the half-truths of these wise men exhaust you as they do me? I have listened to their prayers for too long. There are other voices to be heard. Now, post-processing is definitely a problem. So, to counteract that, I'd probably turn the brightness down a bit, but I really don't like motion blur. So let's turn it back on and see what happens. This is probably where I'm going to end the video, too after uh, experimenting with this a little bit. I might have, in another game, I would have experimented with turning the shadow quality down. Yeah, post-processing took away, took away about 10 FPS, and that's the difference between me holding, and it brought the micro stutter back, and you can even see it here. Micro stutter is still kind of there even without post-processing. But this is something that was around back in the original game. So I don't know. Yeah, it's still kind of there a little bit. If you look here, you can see it kind of going jut, 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 jut when I pan. But not here. 
So it's definitely something tied to the draw distance and the optimization of that. Um, I'm not asking for shorter draw distance. I actually prefer as long as possible. But turning off uh, post-processing helped with the frame rate, helped with the smoothness, helped with the visuals because now we got rid of the motion blur. And to counteract that, I'm pretty sure we lost some shadowing with all that. Why does it keep going to gameplay? Yeah, we did lose. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's micro... It's post-processing, guys. Let's turn it off again. Sorry if this seems a little bit boring here, but I am going to be weighing in on the forums on this. After oh yeah, look at that. It is post-processing. There's micro stutter in the post-processing setting, whatever it is. And yeah, it's kind of there when we're approaching Gorehart and we're like looking around a little bit. And I can understand that with all the different uh, NPCs around and the buildings and draw distances. But there shouldn't be anything up here. And turn off post-processing and the game is completely smooth. So if I had to say what to do here, I would say let's turn brightness down a little bit. Well, that's probably quite a bit. Did that even do anything? The trees definitely look sharper. Looking up at the trees, they definitely look improved. Yeah. Well, there it is, folks. Um, I don't know how long this video wound up going. But that's the opening bit of Kingdoms of Amalur. Now, I did get the uh, the Fate Edition, so when the new content drops, and that won't be coming till 2021 sometime, uh, there'll be a new DLC. Uh, I have not heard how long it's going to be, but there will be new content. Enough of the oppression. Enough of the lies. Uh, Enough of the I think if you've already played the game, I don't know if you're you want to get it unless you're unless you're like a super fan, which I am. That's why I was I didn't even question it. Oh, a bit of a drip there. I didn't even question it. Oh, somebody complained about load times. Let's see what it let's see what it's like. Uh, I am a super fan, so I had no. That wasn't bad. So I have no qualms whatsoever about buying this game. If you loved Kingdoms of Amalur and you want to see it looking a little bit better and bug fixed because let's see if i can view the quest menu yes i can this was a very old bug uh in the original game if you tried to view the quest menu at resolutions above 1080p you couldn't it was just a blank screen um you would see the backdrop and you would see back and hide all quests and the quest's name over here under my overlay but you would not see any of this it was just blank this was a very old bug and they fixed it so it's a bug fixed kingdoms of amalur that looks a little bit sharper a little bit better but it's going to have all exactly the same content except for the new dlc that is expected to drop uh next year so you know if you played it before and didn't think it was that great you probably don't want to spend the money on it. If you played it and loved it, then yeah, you should definitely, definitely pick it up. It's a whole new, uh, it's a whole new coat of paint on the game. But that post processing, you got to turn that off. Uh, not just because of the motion blur, but because it actually seems to make the game worse. Actually, what I think is happening with some of the stutter is frame sync because I turned off all, I turned off just about everything. Uh, V-Sync and stuff for making this video because I didn't want the uh, frame rate to be affected. So that could just be... I might just need to turn V-Sync on and then we're good. I'm not sure on that. But definitely turn post-processing off. That setting seems like it still causes problems even after it did for so many years. That That's still an issue. Now, maybe you'll be able to troubleshoot it and... Uh, see something that happens i'm gonna go post about this in the forums right now actually and hopefully they'll come up with a fix anyway 
I hope this video was useful to you, helpful to you. Uh, it's been going to be great to revisit the world of Amalur, and uh, I hope the positive, generally positive response to this remaster uh, inspires them to... Well, look, they added, like, the moss on the pillars. It's actually even better. I hope this... Uh, hope the positive response to this remaster inspires them to take the franchise in new places. There were other places they that 38 Studios was going to go before, you know, they folded. So I hope we see this franchise return in a big way. Thanks for watching.